Congratulations on the purchase of your Crompton Silent Pro Blossom Smart Fan. In this video tutorial, we will provide step-by-step -step instructions on installation of the Silent Pro Blossom Smart Fan for your home ceiling. A walkthrough of the functions through the remote as well as the app are covered in this video tutorial. Unboxing The first step is unboxing the fan. Before unpacking the contents, we first place a soft material bed sheet or cloth on a table or any flat surface to prevent any damage to the finish of the bottom cover. Slit the tape and open the box. Carefully take out the components from the box one at a time. The following components are part of the box. One telescopic down rod, one shackle kit, one safety cable, two split canopies for false ceiling, one lampshade, one lock nut, one cover plate, one bottom canopy, one motor, one remote, two AAA batteries, one LED kit, three blades, Let's proceed to assembling the fan. To begin with, take the motor assembly support from the carton. Place the motor on the motor assembly support. Check motor wire connections. If any wire is loose or disconnected, make the connection as per wiring diagram in the instruction manual. Take blade set from carton. Remove screws from motor. Align the blade with the screw hole position. Tighten screws to assemble the blade. Rotate the motor controller clockwise to assemble the second blade. Repeat the above step to assemble the third blade. Take bottom canopy and align the slot with motor controller and slide to assemble. Check the hook condition at your home and refer appropriate next steps as stated below. Exposed hook. Match hole 2 of upper rod and hold one of lower rod and assemble. Concealed hook. Match hold three of upper rod and hold one of lower rod and assemble. False ceiling. Pre-installed down rod can be used. We are demonstrating for concealed hook. Take shackle kit and insert the rubber bush in the U-hook. Place the shackle clips on both sides. Tighten the bolt and nut with spanner. Insert the split pin and bend the ends to secure. Push the down rod inside the shackle clips. Tighten the bolt and nut, put the split pin and bend the ends. Take safety cable, insert it in the ceiling U-hook. Pass smaller lug through the bigger lug as shown. Take the assembly cover plate and top canopy. Pass the phase and neutral wire and safety cable through one of the holes in the top canopy as shown. Push the top canopy to the ceiling till the cover plate touches the ceiling. Tighten the screw provided in the top canopy. Push the middle canopy upward. Lock the middle canopy with the top canopy. Remove safety screw from the shaft. Take fan assembly and insert motor shaft into the down rod. Align the holes. Insert the bolt provided with the shackle kit. Make sure the shaft cap is there on motor shaft. Tighten it fully using spanner insert and split pin. Insert the safety screw through the safety cable lug and tighten the screw fully on the down rod. Connect the other ends of supply wires to terminal block of the fans as down. Ensure the screws are tightened properly and the wires are not loose. Pull down the middle canopy. Rotate clockwise to lock with bottom canopy. Remove the lock nut from the shaft by rotating it in anti-clockwise direction. Take out the lampshade. Pass the light connection wires through the central hole of the lampshade. Push the lampshade in position. Rotate the lampshade in clockwise position to fix it onto the shaft. Tighten the lampshade to the shaft fully. Pass the LED wires through the lock nut. Tighten securely the lock nut on the shaft by rotating it in clockwise direction. Take the LED kit, fit the white male connector of the wire 
into the white female connector on LED kit. Fit the black male connector of wire into black female connector on LED kit. Push the LED kit and then lock it by rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Click sound will confirm proper locking. The fan is ready for use. False Ceiling Assembly Instructions For installation on the false ceiling, use the bottom bigger down rod with the pre-installed false ceiling down rod. Insert motor shaft into the down rod, align the holes and secure it. Make the necessary electric connections and ensure screws are tightened properly. Measure distance between false ceiling and bottom canopy. If the gap between false ceiling and bottom canopy is more than 140 mm, then use middle canopy with top canopy and cover plate. If the gap is less than 140 mm, then use the split canopy. Remove the screw caps from both sides. Measure the gap between the false ceiling and bottom canopy. The minimum gap required for installation is 85 mm. If the gap is between 85 mm to 105 mm, cut both the split canopies at the bottom internal rib as shown. If the gap is between 110 mm to 125 mm, cut both the split canopies as shown. Assemble the canopies together till you hear a clicking sound. Ensure both the split canopies have snapped properly. Screw both the split canopies together with screws provided by rotating in clockwise direction and secure it tightly. Remove the lock nut from the shaft by rotating it in anti-clockwise direction and proceed to lampshade installation as shown earlier. Now that you have installed the fan, it is now time to understand the smart remote functions and display unit. On your smart remote, the first row of buttons are to switch the fan on and off, toggle sleep mode as well as breeze mode. The fan speed selection buttons are rated from speeds 1 to 5 on the right hand side. The fan timer as well as the under light on off switch along with brightness adjustment buttons are located on the left hand side of the remote. On the display unit, the under light mode indicates selected warm, cool or natural light temperature. Speed selection and timer is indicated with the numerical values on the top and right hand side and breeze and sleep modes are indicated on the bottom of the display. Remote pairing procedure. Fan is already paired with the remote at the factory itself. In case of any pairing issue, the following procedure can be used to repair the same. Power on the fan from the main switch, press button off followed by button 1 within 10 seconds of powering the fan. The fan will acknowledge with two beep sounds. One fan can be paired with a maximum of two remotes and both remotes can be used with the fan. In case a third remote is paired, the first in remote will go out and the last in remote will stay paired. Important notes. Ensure that the wall mounted regulator is bypassed from the fan circuit or kept always in highest speed position to avoid any misbehavior of the fan in operation. Fan speed should be controlled only from the remote provided with the fan. Do not try to open the PCBA box or do not tamper with the PCBA. This should only be done by authorized service personnel. During any kind of repair work, shifting and reinstallation, Ensure that all the wires coming out from the motor and PCBA are fixed at the same positions on the terminal block. Interchanging of any wires can lead to malfunction in the product.